All right, so now I'm going to show you how I painted up clear LEDs into red LEDs. So I'm going to bring in two of my clear 5 mil LEDs. I'm going to shake up a little bit of uh, Tamiya clear here. Red. Red clear. Let's be straight. All right, that's cool. Oh, I got a drip of stuff. Look at that. Looks like blood. Alright. Little brush action. Get a little damp. So I'm just gonna take the LED. Actually, just use the cap. And just apply a bit onto the lens. Spread it out evenly on the top, on the dome, all around. A nice good coat. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tape it hanging down. So if you look in the upper right hand corner of the screen, you know, there it is pointing downward and afterwards I will let this dry and I'll do a second coat of the clear because what I find is a single coat is just not going to be heavy enough. When you uh, hook up power to it and it lights up, it's going to glow more orange than red. So I'll go off and do a second coat. red in the cap, so we'll just use that up. So if you don't have a colored LED, you could use any color with these. The red, the blue, the green, the smoke, if you want that type of look. I don't know what it's going to give you though. On top of the dome. It's pretty good. Two of them are there. That's pretty much it. All right. Um, I'll let this dry probably 15, 20 minutes or so. Even though it is acrylic, it should dry faster. And then I'll go off and do a second coat dipping, if you will. That's it. Okay. Really simple to do, guys. I know you guys have plenty of the clear stuff by Tamaya. So look, if you don't have a red LED, the layman's method. All right, so this is going to be my second attempt at soldering the LEDs. What I did previously that I found that I didn't like was that I used a wire wrapping tool. Now that's a great item. It can strip the sheathing off this thin Kylar wire and it'll make a fantastic and tight connection to the leads on the LEDs. But once you use it, the wire ends up you know, nice and wrapped down at the one lead, but it ends up connected from here, so the wire would be up there. And I don't want it that close because you're gonna have to somewhat bend the LED, uh, the wire to fit into the engine. And I don't wanna create a short because I think I had that problem last time um, with a smaller version X-Wing. So I wanna nip this problem in the butt now so what I did is I cut off the wire, I restripped it, and that's why you see some extra solder on the leads. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but believe me, there's solder there. So I, I cut these wires, I took off the sheathing again, and I wrapped them now by hand. So at this point, I want to solder them. And I'm going to show you. So I have some rosin core solder. See that? The rosin core solder. At least a, a while, actually. And I already have my uh, soldering iron warming up here, so I'm pretty much good to go. So, just move a little something out of the way. 
I didn't think I was going to show you guys soldering, but uh, I, I'm doing it. I don't know why. I'm doing it. Uh, I'm not going to put this into a device, but I'm going to see if I can just bang it out like this real quick. Solder on this sucker. Look at that. Look at a nice little ball. And just make a nice little pass. Pretty much about it. Okay. Pick up a little bit more. I forgot which one I did. What a panic. That's pretty good. Flip it. Flip it like a pancake. So I think that's done. All right, so the next thing I did after I soldered the leads was to take some shrink wrap tubing, cut, about, I guess, about an inch in size, slid it over the wire, and you shrink it down. Okay, in my case, I just use a, a quick lighter. I know it's not safe, but whatever. Did the trick. Um, then I had taken the, uh, the actual engines themselves, and the first thing I needed to do was notch out a bit of the notch that's there already. I have to make it a little bit bigger because I realized with the shrink wrap tubing on the leads, it doesn't give you enough space for the wires to rest. You can't get the LED to sit straight. So I notched, I notched it with the tip of my X-Acto blade a little bit bigger on one end, on one side I should say, and then a little bit bigger on the other can as well, the other side of the can. Um, Calling them cans, they're just the engines. So what you're gonna do is take your leads and you're gonna kind of needle it right through the the hole there all right you can see it uh, there you go there's a hole good so in you go and you're gonna pull the wire through and i'm using the kylar wire which is very thin to begin with and i'm gonna seat it, it you know just kind of line it up a little bit it's not gonna be perfect at first what i'll end up doing is using two-part epoxy at this point Okay, and I'll epoxy it right into that joint so it holds nice and firm. It'll, you know, cure up in five minutes. I'll be good to go. Once it's cured, I'll come in with the other half of the can. There's a nipple on this little end. I don't know if, you, if the camera's picking that up. Now I'm far to the left side of the screen, so if I bring it a little bit further, how does that look good? All right, and you poke that hole in there. Shut the can down. Kind of make an adjustment, you know, and it'll get glued up, of course, before I do all that. Get straighten out the, the LED. Okay, you should be left with something that looks a little bit like that. Just move around that way. Okay, so that's what you're gonna have. You're gonna do that four times. Okay, very nice. Next. So now we're on to a little bit of the glue up of the LEDs into the engines. So what I use is two part epoxy. I no longer use the push stuff, you know, that, that fluidy stuff, it is part A, part B, with that push thing in it. I don't like it. It's gooey, you can't control how much really that comes out of one side over the other, and you always got a pile of part A or part part B that's way larger than the other part and you waste material and you end up throwing it out as a waste of money. These small two-part epoxies by JB Weld work out great. You mix it, it looks like chocolate, so we're gonna put a little, little bit there and cap this stuff when you're done. You're gonna find you get a lot more use out of these little bottles, these little tubes of paste than you do out of anything else. out about two equal parts and it looks wonderful. I use a little skewer that I cut about a four inch piece out of and I use that as a mixing stick. Okay. 
give it a little stir. So she looks like chocolate. Looking pretty good. Now, I only try to mix a small amount of time because you can only do one engine at a time. So I'll repeat this process four times. Okay, and I'm getting this stuff all over me because I'm a mess, as you guys know by now. All right, it's on to the fun stuff. Like I showed you previously, I'm gonna pipe the wire through the hole. Out it comes, and we're all set and good to go. So, with that, we're in no man's land. I'm gonna get a little bit in here. Point of no return. I'm just gonna glob it in. There's no rhyme or reason to this. Okay. Looks messy enough. Like it's about dead center and that looks pretty good so with the LED in place it's time for a little Tamaya and we're going to glue up the two halves and we'll have one complete engine set so we'll just uh, brush them on and be off to the races into the hole. I'm going to do it on my angle because I can't see it too good if I do it like that. So, bring both halves together. And line up those rings. To the best of your ability. I think that's about as good as it's going to get, so... That's one engine. Three more to go. You want your leads coming out. That's the, uh, the lesson for today, kids. Till next time.